Systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis is one of the most severe form of chronic arthritis that affect children. And is characterized, beside of arthritis, by the presence of systemic symptoms that include eye spiking fever, myalgia, a rash, hepatosplenomegaly, lymphadenomegaly, so enlargement of the spleen of the liver, enlargement of the lymph load, and uh, inflammation on the pleura and pericardium. There are no laboratory or clinical uh, findings that are specific for systemic JEA, so it's an exclusion diagnosis. You have first to uh, eliminate any other uh, disease, uh, mainly infectious or uh, neoplastic disease can give uh, this picture, inflammatory disorder. There are several. So once you have uh, uh, excluded that uh, the symptomatology we are observing can be, do, can be secondary to any of these diseases, then you can uh, suggest that uh, you can uh, make your diagnosis of systemic J. So it's an exclusion diagnosis. It may be a difficult process to perform. There are some predictors we use, but uh, the validity of this predictor is not so strong. So in general, we have to start to treat this patient and in the frame in general of a few months to understand how severe is this disorder. But often it is not so easy to understand the severity of the disorder from the beginning.